A South Florida judge declared the state's new death penalty law unconstitutional earlier this week. While the future of every prisoner on death row is being considered by the Florida Supreme Court. With the state's ultimate penalty remaining uncertain, Channel 4's Mike Vasilinda tells us some inmates say they would rather die than eat poor food and get bad medical care for decades. Michael Lambrix has spent most of his adult life on death row. Over 32 years. Lambrix was next in line to be executed when the U.S. Supreme Court said Florida's death penalty was unconstitutional. Lambrix says many, not most, but many of those on death row would like to stay there. One of the big elements that is weighing heavily on a lot of these guys on death row who are saying, I don't want a life sentence is that they see people growing old in prison and they see the kind of medical care we get around here. But after coming within days of being executed, Michael Lambrix is not one of those who wants to die. I don't want to grow old like that, but the alternative is to die. And I can't keep trying to prove my innocence if I'm dead. Most prisoners here claim innocence. With Lambrix, it's been a constant since 1983. That's when he was first charged and offered a plea deal that could have set him free more than a decade ago. I would have gotten a sentence of uh, 17 to 22 years, and I would have been out many years ago. But I wasn't going to plead to something I didn't do. As recently as last week, the state was saying that most of the 390 death row inmates here should still be executed. If Florida justices agree with the state, the final say over who lives and dies will likely come from the U.S. Supreme Court. As for Lambert's claim of innocence... Have you ever thought about what it would be like to walk out of here? To walk out into the free world? I think about it every day. <laughs> I think about it every day. Reporting from Florida State Prison, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station. Michael Lambrix admits to killing one person in self-defense. He's a high school dropout who originally went to prison for passing bad checks in Tampa. He was later convicted of a double homicide in Glades County on the testimony of a girlfriend who was sleeping with the prosecutor's investigator.